For mechanical waves, the energy that's carried by the wave is proportional to the amplitude of the wave squared. In other words, if you have a wave of a certain amplitude, and then we double that amplitude, the energy doubles squared, which is a factor of four. If the amplitude were to triple, the energy would increase by a factor of three squared, which is nine. If the amplitude drops, say, to 35% of the original level, then 0.35 squared is about 12% of the original energy. So in a mechanical wave, the amplitude squared is what's proportional to energy. You can see two offshore oil rigs. The one on the left is one located in the North Sea. The one on the right is located in the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see that the one in the North Sea looks to be a bit more sturdy than the one in the Gulf of Mexico. If we were designing, let's say, an offshore oil rig to resist let's say a 50-foot wave, well a 50-foot wave would carry a certain amount of energy. We would want to design our oil rig strong enough to resist that. In another part of the world we might have to design an oil rig to withstand a 100-foot wave. About how much stronger would we have to make our structure to withstand a 100-foot wave compared to a 50-foot wave? About four times stronger because when the amplitude of a wave would double the energy content would go up by a factor of four so we would need our structure to be approximately four times stronger.